good evening uh, welcome to the daily view on nifty and bank nifty uh jaisa ki aap dekh sakte hain nifty ka daily chart hai aur aaj uh, dow jones ke itne bade uh, gap down ke baad hamara bhi uh, 2 3% ka gap down tha nifty mein so uh, jo ki expected tha kyunki dow jones around uh, uh, 1100 points ke uh, aas paas uh, uh, fall aaya dow jones mein around 3% so Uh, we were also expected to go down uh, so uh, now the support is obviously uh, uh, we were expecting a move till 16400 to 600 but uh, nifty made high of 16399 on spot on uh, wednesday but uh, today reversed all of the gains because of the global market now uh, obviously uh, some profit uh, um, you must have booked here because we were expecting to we are expecting uh, uh, longs about 16085 so it went till 300 points higher. and some of the trailing stop loss was uh, hit, trailing stop loss would have been hit in the morning itself now the critical question is uh, if 15700 670 goes how far uh, the nifty uh, can uh, go down so uh, let's first uh, put a trend line here yeah so it's almost similar 15671 to 15735 uh, so if this uh, support goes then we are expecting uh, 15400 uh, to uh, it can extend it to the green uh, support line trend line uh, uh, falling uh, uh trend line so 15400 to 15000 uh, is expected anywhere uh in this zone uh, you can expect uh, nifty to uh, bottom out that is our uh, initial view right now if it breaks 15000 as well um, then there could be another uh, sell off coming but right now we are expecting uh, now view has changed to bearish uh, because of today's move due to global markets now if nifty sustains below uh, 15700 you can say 15700 on spot then one can expect 15400 to 15000 levels in extreme short term so this, this is possible and uh, the trend line on the upside uh, is i think here yes so this was the resistance line we were uh, where we expected that this rally could extend to but it didn't happen so now watch out for 15700 if that goes uh, 15671 to uh, obviously the previous low so if 15000 um, Uh, you can write 670 yeah so this was the precisely the march low if this goes then quickly uh, 250 300 points can come and maybe more than that to test this uh, uh, green support line of uh, that we have joined uh, of december low and march low so this is coming right now at 15000 so that is uh, possible and this will happen uh, in quick time because normally markets uh, fall in uh, shorter duration and rise in longer duration so this this will happen fast uh, so that's about nifty uh, let's move to bank nifty so bank nifty also uh, same if this 33000 is broken and uh, Uh, we expected 34800 uh, uh, to be tested but it reversed from 34655 so we are short of uh, 150 points there so now we were seen to bearish because of today's move if bank nifty uh, sustains below 33000 then one can expect 32000 which was a march low and 30000 is the falling trend line 30500 so these levels can uh, are expected on bank nifty so 
So if 33,000 goes, obviously uh, the trend remains down. And the first level is 32,000, which was the uh, March low. And uh, next is the falling trend line support, which comes at 30,500. So that is the possibility on uh, in Bank Nifty and Nifty we have already shared. So uh, it has been a difficult time to trade this market because of the gap up gap downs. So on build only uh, uh, build positions where uh, risk is limited. So don't uh, short puts in this scenario and buy only uh, uh, puts or if you are buying. If you uh, if you are shorting futures, that also be done with a hedge. So uh, keep your positions low. Don't be over leverage. So these things we repeat just to remind you again and again so that you don't make uh, mistakes. So let's discuss uh, one more chart, which is the uh, Dow Jones chart. So Dow Jones was down 3.5 percent uh, yesterday. So now this reversal, which was happening uh, from this parallel channel now, this seems uh, if it breaks this low of i think 12th may which is 31228 uh, then you can expect uh, so maximum uh, what we are expecting is on weekly chart uh, let's uh, take it so 29000 is is the high 29568 and the 200 day weekly exponential mean average is 29,700. So anywhere uh, between 29,500 to 30,000, a low uh, could be uh, bottom could be formed. Obviously, uh, a candlestick reversal pattern needs to be confirmed, and then only we can say. But the immediate support and major support is at major support is at previous high, 2020 high. Plus the 200 uh, weekly exponential moving average, which is at, uh, which is roughly in this range, both of them. So 29,500 to 30,000 is a major support on uh, Dow Jones, and uh, this will uh, this these targets will get triggered uh, if this low is broken of 31,228. Uh, watch out for more sell off because the last bulls will get trapped and uh, if as you can see here the so last bulls uh, that were hoping for a reversal and formed the doji candle and then there was a follow up also uh, there was it took four trading sessions from uh, this bottom to here and it has take uh, it has taken one uh, yesterday and maybe today also uh, the fall will continue and it will break so these last bulls will get trapped and there will be a final sell off you can term it as a climax till uh, 29530000 so hardly 1500 points are left so 5% move can come in next 2 3 days as well because the fall comes uh, obviously in uh, very fast and the rise happens slowly so this fall uh, can add to uh, 29,530,000 30, if this low of 31 uh, 228 is broken so that is the view of Dow Jones, Bank Nifty and Nifty uh, keep your positions light uh, don't be over leverage uh, build uh, option strategies where the risk is limited only and uh, uh, trade cautiously thank you and uh, have a great evening.